Roger, too, and nature calls Jim Carrey, and of course, Tom Jones. Let's get right to it, folks. My first guest, one of the most popular actors in the entire universe. The latest film was called Ace Ventura 2, when nature calls a very funny movie, folks. It opens tomorrow. Please welcome Jim Carrey! <laughs> I've been good. In fact, if you're, if you've been studying what's going on and everything, I guess you could say I'm aces, Jay. Really? I'm aces. Coming November 10th. You know, I just, I've been promoting the show, you know, the, the movie for a couple of weeks. Political satire I'm, stuff. Absolutely, you got to get in. It's my own personal comment there. I've just been promoting this thing so heavily in the last couple of weeks, I yeah. just, I just, I began to realize that the hard sell is the best way. That's the best way. You don't mind me, like, using this show no, to you can use promote it. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective? No, no, no. When what? Nature Calls? Yeah. Well, let me Coming November 10th? <laughs> It's a little twist on the old Carol Burnett thing. Yeah, yeah, I got it. that's quite a twist, really. <laughs> well, let me ask you about doing these promotional things, because I know the last week you're just bopping around. One of the, the same questions. You, they, the reporters, do they ask you the same questions day after day, or, or literally ten times a day? You do. You get a lot of the same yeah. questions over and over again. But I don't mind, you know, as no? long as I can keep my answers changing and different all the time. Oh, you just give a different answer. Yeah, absolutely. You just you just keep changing them, you know, keep it interesting for yourself. For instance, uh, you want me to ask you a question? Yeah, there's a, uh, I get a, like, one that I get all the time is, uh, like, ask me if I like working with the animals. Oh, okay. Uh, now, do you like working with the animals? Is that fun? Yes, I do. Uh, especially the monkeys. They're wonderfully unpredictable. <laughs> okay, now, now ask that, me again. Oh, same, okay, same, same question book. completely. Um, do you like working with the animals? Is that fun? That is the stupidest question I've ever heard. <laughs> if, if I, you know, if I didn't like working with the animals, you think I would tell you? <laughs> right. Get real, bloodsucker. <laughs> you know, so see, it's basically the same answer, but yeah. I've changed the phrasing to yeah. keep it interesting. For me. Right. Ask me again. Uh, <laughs> Do you like working? What do you want from me? Yes! 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 I like working with the animals! What the hell? Oh, yeah! You, you people would love to turn it into something filthy, wouldn't you? Huh? Well, I'm not going to let you. One more time, Jake. Uh, no. That might go too far. That's, that's too much. Man. Yeah, yeah. I, but I, can, I can answer the same question. But all I can day, see how basically. that would, yeah. would, 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 would change things. Yeah. Now, the other day, a, a big honor here in town. You had your uh, hands and, and feet in the cement at the uh, Chinese theater down there. Just that, that's, that's going to be a thank you. Yeah, that was, truly was a great honor. It was really <laughs> wonderful, and I, I just, uh, it's not, you know, it's not the first time I've done it, of course. I've, oh, yeah. I've done it before. The only difference is those times I was chased away by a guy in a hard hat. So. Oh, I see, yeah. But, uh, no, I just thought it was amazing, and I really had, you know, had to, you know, pinch myself, say, hey, keep your feet on the ground, you know. Fortunately, they were in cement. Right. So, so uh, no, but it was just, uh, you know, I don't, 
I don't like to think of myself as like that kind of thing, the star thing or whatever, yeah, but, yeah. but uh, you know, I wear it well. Really? <laughs> I'm just not, I'm not any different than anybody else. Yeah. You know, I wake up in the morning, I, I brush my teeth, I comb my hair, I walk into my germ-free biospheric exercise chamber, right. and I, I work out until the voices go away. Really? Just like every other everybody Joe. Else. In fact, I, I was talking about the, the concept of, you know, staying connected and staying real yeah, yeah. with my food taster the other day. Really? I think he was about to give me a huge compliment, and uh, he just keeled over. So now I gotta <laughs> now I gotta replace him and the chef. <laughs> so don't tell me I don't have problems, man. My my favorite thing at the ceremony, they had a guy there who was sort of narrating because you weren't Mike. Right. You know, so you would... I really don't need it. No, no. But <laughs> there's a lot kind of, of people, Broadway type guy. There were like a thousand people there, and he was translating your act for the crowd, that guy that would... Like, when you would say aces, he would go, he said aces, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. He never let it slip, you know? Just for the stupid people, you know? Everything comes twice. I loved it. Now, what... I noticed you put a catchphrase in the cement. Now, what, what, what was the significance of that? I guess well, everybody that does that, is that a big... Uh... Well, that's the thing. The pressure is so hard. I mean, yeah. it's going to be there forever. It's Hollywood yeah. history, and you just feel like, man, I better say something profound. Yeah. Or that, you know, I'm going to be a fool out there. And so I, I, went through, uh, I went through a bunch of different ones. I practiced. Yeah. I got cement, and I practiced. And uh, <clears throat> I think we have... Do we have them here? Yeah, I, I brought some pictures of them. I actually I listed them for myself, too. Okay. And, and uh, these, these are the few of the tries that I, that I didn't actually use. But, okay, let's take a look. But there's some of the things. The first one was... Uh, this is really exciting. Next! Yeah. And I just thought that was too disrespectful. Yeah, it might be a little, yeah. yeah. Another one I wanted to do was uh, Love and Kisses, Jack Klugman. Yes. You know? Good, good. Yeah. In West Hollywood, I could never bend over like this. <laughs> but again, then you're pitting, you know, two towns right. against each yeah, other, and I'm not into that, that, you know? So uh, you don't want to see hair and stuff fly. Like, you know. uh, another one is, uh, next one was, uh, for a good time, place breasts firmly into my handprints. <laughs> well, I like that one. Here's a good one. Yeah. Hey, OJ, I think I found your knife. <laughs> and the last sort of one I didn't use is, uh, if your feet are this size, Congratulations on your penis. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Now, what was, what was the real thing? I broke my water. Oh, you can have my, you can I? water. Yes, oh. you can have my water. Yes, I This is a healthy thing to do yeah. in the 90s. Yeah, that's a chair. <laughs> Why don't you take the water now, okay. really? Take the whole thing. That's how I do it. Yeah. That's yeah. how I do it. Now, what did you really write? What was the real thing? It was uh, it... merrily, 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 dot, dot, dot. Oh, that's... Because, basically, that's, that's my philosophy of life. I, th I think it's a really profound song, you know? People yeah. don't think about it, but it's quite uh, Buddhist, you know, when you Buddhist? think about it. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, just the center of the wheel, gently down the stream, you know? Just, uh, uh, life is but a dream. And that's really the truth of it. It is a dream, you know? If it... Absolutely. If it wasn't, do you think I could do this? <laughs> well, you know, we'll take a break. When we come back, let's find out about your home life. We'll discuss Absolutely. your home life and, and what you do and the, the slippers and the pipe by the fire. And more with Jim right after this. Don't go away. Jim Gary! <laughs> Jim the actor, the movie yes, star, but of course. Jim the private Jim Carrey at home. Yes. What is your home <laughs> What is your home like life? What do you do when you go home? What do you Checkers. Do? Checkers, Checkers champion. Really? No, I 
I basically, uh, you know, I have a very normal, uh, normal kind of home life. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised. Really? You'd be surprised. <laughs> I uh, would well, be surprised. I don't know what normal is, actually, so, <laughs> yeah. you know, to me, it's normal. Yeah. I, I, yeah. You know, we have lots of dogs. We have three right. dogs now. Right. We have the Great Dane. We have the, we, there's a little kind of, I don't know if it's a lap so lap, so I don't know what it is. It's white, and it's got hair. Huh. And uh, his name is Tom, and he had a problem. He was barking at everything that moved. I mean, not even if anything that moved, just grass growing. <laughs> you know? And uh, soon it just got so ridiculous, we would, you know, when he barked, we would say, Oh, nobody's here. You know? <laughs> Tom's barking, nobody's here. And, uh, and he started barking at leaves falling from the trees. You know, leaf would come. Right. And, that, and, and it just got to be a problem. I was a nervous wreck. Every time you move, you can't move fast because he would go insane, you know, and it was just a, a killer in my house because I'm constantly like... You know, he's just got to be ready for that kind of thing, you know? And, uh, absolutely. But... But he had this problem, he had this barking thing, and, and, I, and so Lauren and I decided to, to send him to school to learn how not to bark. Well, he came back, he was the, as good as gold, he didn't bark at a damn thing, but he had this weird look on his face, like, like Nicholson at the end of Cuckoo's Nest, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And, uh... <clears throat> Thank you. And, uh... <laughs> He was just a little strange, and I thought, well, and then I looked closer, and there was a little uh, box on his collar, some kind of a box, and I said, well, what's that about? And they said, well, it gives him stimulation when he barks in uh, order to keep him from barking again, like that. And I said, well, does it hurt him? And they said, no, it's just annoying. And, uh, you know, and I, I, I said, okay, well, one night I find myself at home alone. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm watching TV, I'm looking at the dog, and I look at this bark collar, and I think to myself, well, you know, what kind of a pet detective <laughs> would I be if I didn't try to put what? myself in his paw, sure. you know? <laughs> and so... In his paw. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I, I got the little box, pulled it off his collar, and this is absolutely true, I actually put it against my neck and began to bark. <laughs> I tried it out. I, I put it up there against my larynx, and I, I, I tried to quiet first. And... and it didn't work the first couple of times. And then I went. You know, and I did this a few times. I wanted to do a, do it quite a few times because, not only for the pure enjoyment, but <laughs> but also you know so that I know that he's not going to have long term effects right. you know from it. And uh, and so you know if if you're ever you know if you're ever if you're ever like on one of those Hollywood tours and you're outside some celebrity's house and you're wondering like what do they do inside there? <laughs> goes on. Ah, <laughs> uh, welcome to the tour, ladies and gentlemen. On your left is the famous Jeff Goldblum's house. Uh, bark. <laughs> Clint Eastwood can't even activate it with his voice. Really? No, it's too quiet. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. He showed Help up. me, Jay. I'm going into an impressionist bit. No, no, no. Throw some right. water on me. Quick. Good. He showed up. That was very impressive. That was amazing. Because he comes because... walking down the street. You know, he doesn't like the entourage. He just kind of, he's just walking. I see Clint Eastwood walking down the street. I know. To go to your... Yeah, uh... with a falafel. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he was, he's such a gentleman. He's such a great guy. You know, it's, it's really true that you, I look up to him because he was one of the first guys I worked with. And yeah. uh, you could never find a, uh, anybody to say a bad word about Clint Eastwood. And he, he really is... One of those people that bring honor to this business. Oh, yeah. He's a really I love nice him, man. and I, I nice really. Man. It's hard to, like, you know, to look for examples when you're a young actor. You know, you always, you always see somebody, you glop onto him for a while, and you go, oh, that's the guy. I'm going to model myself after him. Next thing you know, he's in an airport with a gun. 
and you know, doing all the cliche yeah. things. Yeah. You know, that, that go wrong, and, and uh, it's just nice to know that there's a guy out there who really is what he is. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you about the movie. Now, I, you know, sure. normally when, uh, when, when someone comes on, they have a clip, they have to explain the clip. The nice thing about these movies, they don't even need explanation. Because they, no, not really. I don't think not it can really. be explained. Not heavy go, on plot. No, here. you watch and you laugh, and, and you can pretty much figure out yeah, what's like, going on. Yeah, like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> like, what just is happening here? Just a little here? movie. <laughs> you know? What's happening here? Here is, uh, I'm practicing for the... Uh, <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, all right, okay. <laughs> you got the movie. Yeah. This is this is my audition tape. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. But anyway, this is Ace Ventura. This is when you're yeah, in Africa. This is when I'm driving. Of course, Ace is famous for his driving, and you know, I just I had to keep the 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 you know the flame uh, burning on this. And so, let's take a look. Yeah, basically, this is uh, me driving. We'll be here, and we got some like stunts and stuff. I'm Jane. sweating from this next guest. Okay, well you'll win. <laughs> Stephen Wright will be here. Actress Vera Savino. Monday we'll be coming to you from the MGM Grand Las Vegas with Robin Williams and David Lee Roth. Maybe you can teach Tom some moves. You got to teach him some moves. Maybe? Absolutely. All right, we'll be back with Tom Jones and more with Jim right after this. Don't go in. <laughs>